have a look around you. I'm going to tell you about a great man who made a truly remarkable discovery. We're 380,000 kilometers from home, floating above the surface of the moon. Look over at the horizon. In a moment, you'll see something very few people have seen. An Earth rise. Right there on that pale blue dot in the year 1820, a discovery was made. A discovery so revolutionary that we need to come all the way out here to see what it means for our beautiful planet today, our home. We're on the way down there now. The discovery was nothing less than electromagnetism, and the man behind it was Danish scientist Hans Christian Ørsted. Hans Christian Ørsted's discovery would be the start of the electric revolution. In the years that followed, some of science's superstars like Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, and Michael Faraday made their own groundbreaking discoveries, all based on electromagnetism. From electric light and electric motors to communication technologies like computers, telephones, and satellites. The poet Hans Christian Andersen, a good friend of Hans Christian Alsted, hailed this discovery with the words, when the lightning bolt of inspiration struck from your head, the world received a greater vision. You gave the nations an immeasurable treasure. And he was right. Have a look at planet Earth. Isn't it amazing? Our common home here among the stars, it has nurtured and sustained life for millions of years. But recently, we humans have upset the fine balance of our atmosphere. Earth's climate is changing. It's vital that we do a better job of looking after it. Have a look at that satellite. That's the Alsted satellite. It was built by a team, including scientists from the Technical University of Denmark, which Hans Christian Alsted founded, and where he was the first dean. And if that wasn't enough, Hans Christian Alsted was the first person to isolate the element aluminium, which the International Space Station is made out of. We need to follow Hans Christian Alsted's example with insatiable curiosity like his and the kind of dedication and interest in nature he showed. We can continue the transformation that's begun towards a more sustainable world. Hold on tight. Reentry can be a bumpy ride. Today, it's thanks to electromagnetism that wind turbines are generating green power all over the world, on land and at sea, bringing us closer to a world that runs entirely on green energy. There's not much left to say, apart from thank you for your discovery, Hans Christian Ørsted. Thank you for electromagnetism. We use it every day. Andreas Mogensen, signing off.